Right, so today's video we're going to have a look at the Haswin Cayman B uh, GPS model. It's a electric engine, front mounted um, electric engine, uh, remote control, uh, and the key feature of this is it's the GPS model. So it's an upgrade from the one I had last year, which wasn't the GPS model. Um, so what you've got is an electric engine with remote control. You can get a foot pedal, but I haven't got that. Uh, with remote control that you can uh, use to help you fishing. So what we'll do is we'll have a look at some of the features that um, it's got. Right, so I'm going to want to fish that tree line over there, right? Let's say I've not got an electric engine on the front. So first of all, you've got a noisy engine. Admittedly this is a two stroke, so it's a little bit louder than a four stroke. Um, so you've got to put up with that way. Put, a, put up with that. So there's a bit of a breeze, it's not, it's not major. We have a bit, that's downstream and also the wind's going that way as well. So I want to fish this tree line all the way along here. I don't know if there's any fish here. I just want to fish. So I've been cast going upstream a little bit. The boat's spinning around a little bit. And I'm starting to drift downstream now. So I've put one cast in there. I'm now fishing over eight, nine foot of water and I'm drifting quite fast away from, in fact, one miles per hour according to my 1.1. Uh, so I wanna fish that bush again, but I'm quite far away from it already. Yep. Let it sink a little bit. I want to have a really slow retrieve, but again, I'm already fishing. So I've already drifted downstream. So I've had two casts on that bush and I haven't fished any of this yet and I'm already, I'm already past it. Yeah. So, I can quickly stick it in reverse. I'll stick it in reverse again. And try and hold it there. But I'm forever faffing. And messing with the, the engine. But again, I've only just got another cast in there. Before I've had a chance to fish anywhere, I've got another, now I need to stop the engine because I'm getting too close. And it's a real faff. A real faff. Now I'm drifting towards the water, the edge again. So it's really, really difficult. Even on a calm day, really difficult, even on a calm day. I mean, it's not actually, not actually windy, that windy today, so. You know, there's a spot a little bit lower down, there's, there's no, you're a bit sheltered from the, the wind, so there's no breeze going to affect it, but at the minute I'm, I'm right on top of where I want to fish, I can't, can't get in properly. So it means that you're not fishing efficiently, or, or it, sometimes there's me and Neil on the boat, so he's at front, I'm at back, so we get a couple more casting quicker, so we'll get a couple of, you know, we'll cover the bushes a bit, a little bit quicker, but it's not ideal. So, peace and quiet. I like a bit of peace and quiet. So now I'm just on drift. Now I'm just on a drift and we'll see what it takes me. I'm at the mercy of the wind and the current. Too close, there's a weed line it. There's a weed line here and I can't fish it. So it just shows you it's a little bit difficult to to fish these kind of spots on a on a boat so you could anchor up. But there might not be any fish on this spot. I've just stopped here randomly. There might not be any fish here. So you anchor up, you drop in an anchor, it's noisy, it's wet you pick up mud on the bottom you get annoyed you get your boat gets kicked in mud in winter your hands are cold right so how's we can be mounted on the front we can look at mounts on the front another day basically press the button put it in place where the collar is and that's it i've got remote control 
to turn it left and right and to turn it on. So now I can take myself into the middle of the river, I can slow it down a little bit. And I can use that to control myself a little bit better as I'm driving. Oop, wrong button. Let's turn the speed down a bit. I've got a little bit more control but again I'm to mess with the with the app that's only with the controller I'm still drifting quite quick put it on to slowest speed it'll just help me a little bit that fan's just ticking over, it's really steady now, that motor. So now I'm not drifting anywhere near as fast as I was before, which allows me to put a few casts in. Stop it again, get a little drift on. Again, it's a little bit of a faff. I've got to keep messing with the remote. Slow me down. Right, so one thing that you can do go to Helmsman app which had obviously already been installed and what I can do basically click that plus sign anchor click the anchor button and it's going to turn around And it's going to anchor me where I said I want to stay. So you can do that with the foot pedal. If you've got the foot pedal. If you haven't got the foot pedal. At the minute, without a stock in the UK. If you haven't got the foot pedal. Spot lock on your phone app. And away you go. And now I can fish this. And just hold this spot. Well, that's doing its job. It's a bit of a breeze, but I'm not drifting like all before. Every now and again, it is a bit of a spur on it gets itself back to where it was, because GPS is not exactly perfect. You're always within a, a metre or so. But it's really good. Really, really impressed with it. So a couple of times since I've had it, it's gone, on, gone a little bit crazy. I've, I had struggled with connection. That was a connection to my phone app, but I think it was down to a low battery on the handheld remote, strangely. Once I charged it back up, it was fine. That's the only issue I've had. A couple of times uh, I've been doing doing a bit of a steady um, like autopilot and it's gone a bit crazy. Now I'm just now I'm just fishing this river, both sides. Imagine if it was me and Neil, we'd cover this this in no time. But between us, we can cover a lot of water. But I'm going to show you something else that's even better. Right, so I'm not sure how much of this you can see. We've basically got Google Maps open, or a version of it on the, the controller 
but on the app. That's me. And I'm going to fish along these trees. So what I'm going to do is... Create a route. Right, so I don't know if you can see this route or not, but I've basically plotted a route. Loads of series of points, 1 to 13, along this tree line back here. So I'm going to... Start autopilot, yep. Right, so now it should see where it wants to go. If we zoom in, we're just downstream of downstream of number one, so it's gonna take us back up to that spot. I'll speed it up if I want. Just to get us there. This one, this unit's a £55 thrust, so it's got a bit of oomph to it. Um, but you're not going to use it as your main engine, it's for this kind of thing. Speed it up a bit more. Going upstream, so if I stick my rod out, I won't miss this. You can see, I'm slowly working the way upstream, so let's get fishing. All these fishy looking spots. Not fished here, so I don't know if there's any fish about, but it's just to show you how you can work it. So I reckon that's too fast. So I'm going to slow it down one more. That's slow speed. So now we can see we're drifting downstream before we're using the petrol engine. We're drifting really fast. Now, um, if, I, if I put it on one speed, I could fish both sides. I don't know if there's any fish here, so I'm just having a few chucks to be honest. If I move a fish or see a fish, I might knock it down a, a spot, knock it down one and work this really slowly. Don't forget I can also spot lock it. <laughs> so does bait fish, custom jerk. Oh. Seven foot where I am, so I could fish it with something a bit deeper shallower on the margins. Has wing doing a cracking job there, just taking me upstream, following those uh, waypoints that I set. I mean, how good is that? No messing. I'm not touching remote anymore. The only thing I need to do is go to that remote control sometimes and just tweak it. That's the only thing I need to do. Admittedly, be good if I could control it on this remote. But it's not bad at all. So a little bit more about these engines while I'm fishing. So like I say you can buy the min coaters and the eye pilots that, that connect to your humming birds and your lowruns and you can control it, you can set your waypoints. No you can't set waypoints. You can take tell it to follow contours on your on your chart map. I don't want to follow contours, I want to follow this river. I just want to go upstream. So it's really, really good for that. I don't think you can do that on the, um, on the min coaters. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. So this is a really great feature. I mean, look how slow I'm, I'm drifting up, up, 
while not drifting, motoring upstream, nice and steady. You can't fish rivers properly if you've got no source of engine like this. You can drift, you can drop anchor and all that, it's really fiddly, it's not easy at all. You can try and use your electric, and you're always messing. Um, one thing to tell you about as well, I forgot, to, I should have said this earlier, so um, these Haswin Kim and B, you can buy them from River Biker shop, believe it or not. So you can buy these from River Biker shop, so I guess I'm a little bit biased, so believe my little review if you want. I don't believe it, but you know me, I'm pretty pretty trustworthy, kind of tell it how it is. And uh, the great thing about these units is, compared to a Minn Kota, which might cost you two grand or more, I don't even know the price of them, but really weedy there. Uh, this one's about 700 quid, well less than 700 quid, you can get it delivered to your house. Delivery is about five days, at the minute probably sometimes taking a bit longer, like a week. And this is the best thing about it is, you can just do this, you can obviously do it on lakes, exactly the same. And it's just open to your creativity, your um, how you want to set it up. Really weedy. Not seen anything yet, but so what I've got on that as well is I'll show you this. It's got a, a bracket on it, a quick release bracket, so you can basically lift it on and off for when you're transporting it. And it's really simple. It's basically, once you've bolted your quick release bracket to your boat, there's just a pin that you take out. And you lift off. And it's easy that so make sure you get it with the quick release bracket unless you're leaving it on your boat and your boat stays in a in a yard or something, you know what I mean? It's but I wouldn't I wouldn't travel with it on the quick release bracket. It comes with a couple of options of up upgrades. Currently the foot pedal's out of stock in the UK but hopefully we'll, some will come soon. But um I'm not using the foot pedal and I've not the foot pedal's got spot lock on it, you can just press you can just press foot you put on the pedal and you'd spot lock it straight away so that's a good feature um, rather than having to mess about on your your phone to get spot spot lock however i've not i've not thought to myself i desperately need a foot pedal for spot lock because i can do it Look how easy this is to, to fish. No fish were caught in the making of this video. <laughs> that were a proper flat liner. <laughs> yes. Proper flat line me. <laughs> there you go. Fish with hooks all over it. One second. Right, so we're sat on spot lock. Not a mega windy day, but you can see already the boat's drifting about a little bit. If it weren't for the spot lock holding us in position, we'd be going with the current downstream, we'd be going with the wind downstream, and this is keeping us pretty stable.
Now if I turn it off, we shall see what happens. Like I say, it's not a mega, not a mega flow, it's not a mega wind, it's not nothing ridiculous. But straight away we're off that spot. And we are drifting. 